Don, I believe Coach Schmiel had the, the scout today. How do you think that the team really filled out every aspect of the scouting report? We did a great job. I mean, the preparation was pretty good. Um, our, the way that we had to defend them was, uh, was pretty good, and um, they didn't get away from us a whole lot. Uh, I thought we just stayed engaged and, and just um, displayed the habits that we've created. Don, obviously, you know, Leah sets the record, but she came out uh, in the third quarter after having, you know, set it in the third quarter. Can you speak to the, I guess, efficiency in which she's able to, I guess, record those numbers and, and get those double doubles? Um, I mean, I think Aaliyah, Aaliyah is one that makes adjustments. She, if the game is getting out of hand, heck, she doesn't even wait till the game gets out of hand. I think she just, she just plays the game as it, as it comes. Um, is it, if there's an opportunity for her to, to score, from the inside to the outside, she takes those opportunities. She's always going to rebound. She's always going to be in a position of going for rebounds, taking her feet to the ball and getting the rebound. So, um, whether it's uh, 23 minutes or 35 minutes, you're going to get the same performance. Coach Mike was in here. He said you guys should make room for another statue out front for Aaliyah. <laughs> Um, I mean, just in terms of legacy and, and impact on the program, where does Aaliyah kind of measure up with, you know, some of the grades you coached, like someone like Asia? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to stick with be, it being current. Like, I mean, your, your, your focus is Aaliyah um, and the things that she's been able to, to accomplish, the, the winning percentage uh, with her in the lineup. Um, she, she, I mean, she's... I mean, she doesn't make you forget about the ones that started, you know, the the success here at South Carolina. But she certainly, um, you, you can argue, has has a pretty darn big impact on this on our in the history books. As we keep, you know, we keep, you know, she keeps checking off different things, and um, and she brings us home another one <laughs> and puts her in the class by herself. <laughs> Obviously, Sheila Foster was here as well to be able to see that happen. Just how well do you know her, and how yeah. cool for here forty years later for her to be able to witness that moment? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, we 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 know Sheila. She's uh, definitely a friend of every, you know, every you know, every every coach that's been a part of this program since she's been terrorizing opponents. Um, it's great to have her in the house. I mean, she always you'll you'll hear her. You know, throughout the throughout the game, keep pounding. I mean, she is one that pounded the the boards, and uh, and we, you know, we we hear her, and we hope we hope to make her proud because she was one that did some incredible things here in South Carolina. Um. I know this team's deep. You know, you're going 12, 13 when you're healthy, 14 deep. But when Aaliyah and Zaya are playing like that, do you feel like that's just kind of an extra bit of, I don't know, leadership from those two players? Do you feel like when your team's at your best, does it start from those two more than anyone else? Um, I mean, I think it's the entire, probably the starting five, because they've, they've played together, at least four of them. They've played, they've logged a lot of minutes together. Um, you know, I, I think what makes this team a little bit special is, is they're they're getting better. Like each and every player is getting better, and they're not, you know, they're not sour about not playing. So, not playing a whole lot. They they just have an appetite of wanting to get better. Now, when when Zaya is doing what she's doing, we're a different basketball team. We're we're a totally different basketball team because of her play uh, this season. Um, she makes us, I mean, she, she makes us a much better basketball team. She's efficient. Um, she's, she's, she's going to the basket. She's hitting her mid-range. She's hitting her three. She's passing it off. Like, she is in incredible rhythm. And um, because of that, I think it frees up everybody else to continue to do what they do. So it's, it's a little bit. I mean, V, v play awesome. I mean, V was doing all the, the little things that, that she's always done for us, um, that we really couldn't see it at the beginning of the year um, because we're just trying to flush out, just trying to, you know, uh, implement a, a new 
point guard, starter, and then another point guard coming off the bench. So it's 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 the link up. It's the connection that they all have with each other. This is y'all's fourth straight win with a margin of victory over 30 points. How do you keep your team engaged and kind of pushing forward even whenever the game is a very dominant victory? Um, I mean, sorry. We, we, I mean, we always talk to our players about just creating habits, like play to the habits that we've created, and we just don't want to let down. We want to always – we always want to put our best foot forward no matter who we have in the game. And, um, and I think some of the players that – don't play a whole lot, know that we're, we're watching, like we're, we're going to put it on the film. Uh, this is kind of what we're good at. Here's what, some improvements we need. And they don't want to be caught on the film, you know, saying being a part of the improvement. So uh, they're just locked in. Don, we can all see the physical talent that makes it possible for someone to have a double-double. What about the mental approach to be that consistently good over a course of career, especially when it comes to uh, some grunt work like rebounding? Mentally tough, mentally strong, you know, uh, those are those are separators for Aaliyah. You, you can't do what she does without, without having that. You can't do what she does without being able to endure, like, like, phys I mean, she's physically being punished, <laughs> and she just fights through. Um, can she get, you know, frustrated with it? Probably at times, but it, it doesn't debilitate her. She's always thinking, okay, well, you got me here. I'm going to get you there. Um, and that is, that, is, that is the separation that, that she displays, um, not only in games. She, you build that in practice, and you build that over, over time, and, you know, in games, and now she's at a place where you you really you really can't stop her. I mean, you can you can slow her down by maybe she won't get a double double, um, but she'll you know she'll have eight blocks. She'll have you know she'll she she would have been fouled ten times. You know, there's something to be said about um, her ability to just continue to fight through. Don, I guess a week between games now, is this time as much about some rest and recovery or is it about keeping the focus, pedal to the metal, as we get into the, a critical stretch of the season? Um, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll take off our normal day tomorrow and then we'll take off um, Wednesday because we, we have to practice in the morning. Um, other than that, we'll practice Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday to get ready for Alabama. So it's, it is, you know, we're going to try to stay true to form and not, you know, not allow this week to just kind of alter um, how we're just keeping the main thing the main thing. Uh, Don, uh, Zai kind of jokingly said it, finally, four years later, she, <laughs> she's taking great shots. Uh, she's been on a tear. Uh, what do you attribute her success to uh, this season, I guess? She's mentally tougher. She's mentally stronger. She is uh, – She's, she's, she is, it's all come together. And we had hoped it came together a little bit sooner, but you know, her, her time is her time. And uh, it couldn't happen at a, a better time. Her senior year, um, us coming off with the national championship, us trying to win another one. Um, I, I do think, and I, and I don't want to, I don't want to like, put a, a heavy load on her, but I, I do think she is the reason why we are a better team. Just her mindset, her ability to be efficient, her ability to just display her entire package of of, of talent. Um, I think sometimes that got in the way last year and it, it, it just take her it took her going through that to really get it. So I'd rather her to have gone through that even though it was painful. Because on the other side of it is this, and then she gets to take this to the WNBA, where she's going to have to, she's going to have to play this way um, on the next level. And I'm, I'm glad she's got some fam familiarity with playing just really good basketball. Last one to Chris. I actually wanted to ask about Zaya's defense. Um, it seems like she and Raven, we talk about their offense, but they've really embraced playing aggressive defense. Oh. And then as a follow-up, did 
did you ever talk to Zion and say, hey, the WNBA wants you to play defense. You need to show that. <laughs> um, she is. Like, Zion, from the very beginning, from practice one, um, just made a concerted effort to play every play. And the way you see her displaying it out there on the floor um, is what she's been like in practice. So those are those, are those habits. Um, and it, it – I mean, it's a beautiful thing to see. Like, I am super proud of her and her commitment to her. Like, it is to her. And um, what, was your, what was your other question? Oh, did I? No, I mean, damn the WNBA, you got to play defense here. I mean, <laughs> you got to play defense here. Um but no, I mean, I, I, I'm very early on in the, in the season, before the season. I'm just like, Zion, you just got to F it and play. Like, don't think about anything. Just do, just do you. Don't get caught up with a missed shot because, again, it's the same things I've been telling her for four years. Like, like you're, you're not one-dimensional. Just because you don't score it doesn't mean you don't have a good game. But now she's just displaying all of it. Like, she, she drops passes off. She's defending. Even if she doesn't have an efficient night or efficient, like she didn't have an efficient first half at Vandy. Came back, shot 50% for the game. Um, last year it would have probably made her shoot four or five bad shots in the second half, and she didn't do that. She just relied on her ability to just create the habits of, of taking good shots and, and making shots. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.